Welcome back to another video. Today we're out here in Central PA and I'm fishing a small little uh, spring creek that I haven't fished in quite a while. Probably it's been like two and a half years, maybe three. And I, I haven't fished this stream since I lived out in Harrisburg. I'm doing the intro a little late here. I've already been fishing. We're having a good day. And there was a small little hatch of blue winged olives that came off. You guys will probably see that here in a little bit. I saw one fish rise. I was gonna switch over if there was more fish rising, like I, I promised you guys, but I, that's all I saw was that one fish. So I wasn't gonna waste my time to switch over. And then that hatch probably lasted for about, I would say a half hour and then uh, it kind of died off. But I mean, I'm still catching fish. I've been catching fish on, I got a France fly on right now and a simple betas. I'm catching fish on both of those. All the fish earlier were on the olive quill while the hatch was happening. And then right after that hatch uh, slowed down, I started catching some on the pheasant tail along with that uh, olive quill still. But I've switched over since because uh, like I said, those olives stopped coming off and we're kind of just getting some midges here and there. So I got the two smaller flies on that kind of just mimic sort of like small betas or, you know, small midge or something. But I don't want to waste any more time and let's go ahead and get into the fishing. Don't forget to drop a like below and leave a comment. Let me know what you guys thought of this video. All right, guys, so we just got into our first trout today. Uh, sorry about the GoPro there. I thought I actually had it off, but I had it on. So I ended up turning it off uh, once I hooked into this fish, but we'll go ahead and release him here. Uh, I got him, he was like sort of right in that little, there's like a little eddy behind that rock and he took the olive beta nymph. So with spring coming and you know this time of year we're getting into, it's still February, it's like right at the end of February. Uh, I like to start using these beta snimps around this time because you start to see blue winged olives and stuff come off. So that's what I'm running there. And then on the bottom, I'm running a size 14 wall twirm with a green hotspot. All right guys. So we are out fishing the small spring creek today. Um, I might do, it's actually really early still, the, the sun hasn't even hit the water yet. I have fished this creek before, just uh, not many times. And it's, a, like I said, it's a small little spring creek. It's not stocked or anything, so you can fish it this time of year. So we'll see what we can get into. We just got into that one and I'm just gonna continue up through here. I think as the, the sun starts to hit the water, uh, I think they'll get a little more active. It's supposed to go up to about 43 today. And we're out here early morning, so we have a long day ahead of us. So stay tuned. Recently, I've had a lot of people asking me about my rig and why I run 20 pounds. So uh, you, I normally would run 20 pound amnesia as my leader, but I switched back over to the 10. I'm gonna give the 10 a try again. Um, the only reason that I was using 20 pound before is because I like that it, it works a lot better when there's wind. But so many people were like, oh, you know, why are you using 20 pounds? So I figure I'll switch back over to the 10, try it out. Maybe I forgot what it's like to use the 10 sort of. But I mean, so far I'm liking it. I mean, it's, like I said, it's more sensitive. But if we get any wind or anything like that, it's it's not going to be as easy to use. But it's not supposed to be too windy today. So I think we'll, we'll do just fine. There we go. All right, nice little fish, beautiful fish on the Spring Creek here. You guys can see that that uh, that betis that I had had in last week's video, where we talked about the olive betis that I've had killer days with it. I mean, it's already starting to produce. It's two fish. It's only been about probably 20 minutes and it's still early morning, so it's fairly cold out. You guys will be seeing a lot more of the betas though as the spring progresses. But if you guys follow me on Instagram, I've been posting a lot lately about like how I just kind of want to get back to the core of like why I started fly fishing and when I first got into fly fishing, just fishing every little creek, 
and not really caring about you know the size of the fish that I'm chasing. Um, a lot of people like doing that, and um, I did like doing that for a while, but I, I don't know. It's kind of just burned me out because it is, it is, it's basically hunting, and it, it can burn you out. Just always being feeling like you're pressured to go find big fish, and a lot of like what actually got me started into fly fishing and what made me really like it was just going to any of these small little creeks and just fishing them and catching even just you know any wild fish regardless of the size so that's kind of what i'm going to try to get back to this spring hopefully do some dry fly fishing and just do more exploring right now i'm using my 10 foot three weight rod i uh, didn't bring well i brought it but i'm not using my shadow x i'm using my shadow too just because this stream's a little smaller i didn't really want to have that extra six inches to uh, sort of get caught up in trees and just make it a little easier to cast here on this smaller stream. Since we're on this spring creek, you know, small tight quarters, just trying to fish up above myself pretty far. The water is up and it's a little off color, so that helps, but I still want to take my time and try not to spook as many fish as possible. Cause like I said, there's, there's tons of fish here. So I'm sure I've spooked some already and just walking around, you know, it's going to spook fish up into where you're trying to fish and you want to try to minimize that if possible. Hmm. I would have thought for sure we would have caught something in that run. Like I said, this is probably the best run that we've fished so far. I haven't fished that far bank yet, which I'm about to do. But this part over here looked the best. There we go. It's a pretty good fish. Mm. Nice, beautiful trout. Nice fat one. I'll get in a, I'll do an underwater release of him. We haven't done an underwater release in a while. So I got tangled up after I let that fish off. So um, I kept the betas on the tag and I switched the point fly to a bread and butter. The waltz worm wasn't getting anything. So we'll see if the, the bread and butter can pick up anything. All right, so this is the first fish we've hooked up with in a little bit. Nice, beautiful fish. I think I just had a cake. There we go. Got ourselves another nice beauty. We'll go ahead and let him go. So he came out of that run right there, about midway down. It's 
It's actually where those ducks were sitting. I'm surprised they didn't scare them away, but I'm gonna run my nymph through there a few more times, see, to, see what else we can get. There's a little one. Pretty little guy, nice little white belly on him. Let him back. I'm actually not sure what fly he took. I'm just gonna assume the olive quill, but it actually popped out when he got to the net, so I didn't get to see what he took. This is a pretty good sized fish. That's probably the biggest fish of today. I'd say he's probably about 10 inches. Get him back in. All right, just had to re-rig because we got caught up in that tree and I saw one fish rise right here where I'm casting now, but that was all I saw. If I see some more, I will definitely switch over to dry flies, see if we can get some on the dry. But blue winged olives, they're popping off fairly regularly now. Um, it's not like a heavy hatch or anything, but I mean, they are popping off. Pretty good fish. Keep him down out of there. Oh, dang it. He popped off. I didn't get to see what he was on, but I don't know. You guys can maybe see all the olives in the air. Again, I haven't seen, I only saw one fish rise, but that was probably the best fish of today. So we got a good fish here. Wow. He is not liking this. All right, that is our best fish of today. He took the olive again. So I'm gonna get a picture of him and then we'll get him back in. So I'm thinking about throwing two olives on. Uh, I got like an oil slick flashy paragon on the point right now, but if they're just gonna be taking olives, I'm about to double up. I've never seen something like that. Some weird growth on his gill. Oh, that's the one we just caught out of this little riffle. Let's we'll just get him back in. So like I was saying, the water is actually pretty warm and the fish seem to be pushed up into the riffles at this point, as long as it's in the sun. So we're just gonna focus on some riffs in the sunny areas. Pulled him all the way out. Just a tiny little brownie. Once I fish this here, I'm gonna try to tuck one up under that uh, tree over there. Looks like a good spot. <clears throat> I 
There's another one. Tiny, tiny fish. All right, so I turned the camera off for a little bit because it looked like we were slowing down maybe. But I uh, just picked up this fish. He's actually on the pheasant tail. Small little guy. <clears throat> There's another one. This one's actually also on the pheasant tail. Nice spar spot one. Nice little red tail on him too. Oh, that was actually a big fish. That was probably 15 inches. All right, there's a little redemption, not the size fish, but it's a fish. Uh, hook popped out already, so I'm not sure actually what he took. Pretty little fish though. There we go. <clears throat> and he popped off but i believe he was on the pheasant tail nice beautiful little fish spring creek trout are always beautiful they always got that little red on their tail and those white tipped fins we're hooked into another one here i turned the camera off for a little bit because uh again we weren't getting much and then I caught a tiny one right before this. <clears throat> and then we just hooked up with him. Beautiful little fish. Oh, well, there's a fish. about the size we've been catching and he was actually he actually took the uh, the olive again all right so I switched out flies now I'm running a little size 18 France fly and size 18 simple betas And there is a fish. Hmm. All right, so that fish was on the little black France fly. Let's go ahead and get him back in here. Wow. I just watched a pretty big fish swim right up from behind that freaking rock there. I mean, it's just in a, on a stream like this where there's just tons of fish it's it's like almost impossible to like not spook any and know where they're, where they're all going to be there we go i knew i thought i had a fish take in there a little bit ago <clears throat> that's not the fish that i saw swim up from that rock though he popped off but i think he was on the france fly As soon as I turned the camera off, hooked up with this guy. <clears throat> I had a feeling there was one in there. All right, so there he is. Let him back. I'll tell you what, I'm enjoying today. I'm having a lot of fun. I uh, haven't fished, you know, just little small class A streams like this in a while. I've been, like I said, I've been on that big stream and big fish grind and it just feels nice to Get back out on a small stream and just slay some fish.
there is a fish. <clears throat> All right, so it looks like this fish is on the France fly. Not a bad little fish. Get him back in there. It's a little better fish. <clears throat> That fish was on the France fly as well. That's probably one of the better fish of today. There is a fish. <clears throat> All right, looks like he took the betas. Oh, that fish has a lot of spots. So I almost thought it was a stalker at first. So this is actually a really good fish if we can land him. All right, guys. So we just got this pretty nice fish here. Uh, probably one of the biggest of today. And uh, just beautiful colors. Look at that adipose on him. And then that red on his tail. Just beautiful. And he's got nice blue cheeks as well uh, and let him go back in his hole here <clears throat> let me see if I can call a shot here right uh, we're getting I'm probably gonna turn around right up here at this log if you guys can see that but there is a riser right in here and I'm gonna see if I can nymph him uh, again I'm not gonna change for one rising fish fish but He is eating, and it actually looked like a decent sized fish. There he is. There he is. <clears throat> nice fat little fish. Pretty too. Get him back in. All right guys, that is gonna be it for this video. Uh, sorry for the car noise for the outro here. We'll just make it real quick. Uh, there's not really anywhere else that I can go to do an outro that's not by the road here. So, uh, not a bad day. Um, caught a, quite a few fish, a few uh, pretty nice ones. I missed probably the biggest fish of today. It was definitely probably like a 15-incher. I don't know. I just got like a bad hook set on them or something. Ran into first hatch of the season, I would say, that was like prolific. There was a bunch of blue-winged olives coming off there this morning. I didn't see really any fish rising though, so I think I saw like three fish rise all day and only one this morning when the hatch was coming off, so I didn't even bother switching over. I caught fish today on a few nymphs. I caught pheasant tail, olive quill, simple betis, and a France fly. All four of those flies actually caught a decent amount each, so like I said, we're gonna wrap it up here. I'm gonna head to another stream, and if I do well there, that'll be next week's video. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to smash the like button and uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of this video and uh, any suggestions for future videos. Until next time, peace.